see Malkovitova will react to the treatment she's currently getting. Garcia just trying to stay focused. And Caroline has had that strapping on her left thigh all of this week, as a lot of the players have. As a matter of fact, everyone just trying to take as many precautions as they can before the US Open. Of course, next week is a week off. Garcia is actually still entered in the event next week, yeah, which... Due, due to play Lyudmila <laughs> Samsonova, which, you know, we think after playing so many matches this week, there's going to be some wear and tear. It's, it's hard to imagine that she'll actually be able to play that event. Yeah. Yeah, what you don't want to do, of course, is to go into a major championship already tired because over a two-week period, you've got seven matches. Not too sure if Caroline's going to be playing doubles or not at the US Open, but you want to be reasonably fresh with some matches under your belt, which is why you know, Toronto and San Jose and Cincinnati, they're all important events on the WTA Tour calendar. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, as we know, she had to go through qualifying. She may not have even made the main draw here. So that event in Cleveland, which start, is actually starting today, of course, because we've got a, a Grand Slam around the corner. So that'll end on Saturday. So just from a practical point of view, it might not be possible for Caroline Garcia to play it anyway. Given that she's playing the final here in Ohio, Ohio today, but I'm sure she's not really thinking about that at the moment. She's just thinking about winning this second set. How difficult is it to ignore the fact that your opponent is potentially injured when you're playing, when you're up against somebody and you, you know, you're playing well, but then do you think about what they're going through or do you just try and focus well, on your own game as much as possible? Well, it's a good point, actually. I mean, if Petra Kvitova comes back on this court with strapping on one of her knees or a certain part of her leg, you think, oh, gee, maybe I just need to make her run a little bit more. But in actual fact, Caroline Garcia needs to do exactly what she's done for the first 40 minutes of, of, or a little bit more of this match. So you have to put that to one side, but sometimes it's easier said than done. Yeah, I think we saw a little bit, I mean, it's a slightly different situation, but yesterday after the first rain delay and they came back out one all in the second set, Garcia was playing Sabalenka felt like she approached the match a little differently and she was just a little bit passive, a little bit almost as if she was just playing it a bit safe. Well, maybe she was thinking about it in the, you know, in the locker room, thinking, gee, you know, it's a great opportunity. All those things yeah. that, that go into an athlete.